welcome po to our program. Ako po si Jitonji. We are broadcasting from Los Angeles, California. It's a very, very important program today as we talk about dialysis and why it's important that we are informed about what's going on with this industry. Here are some facts that you may not have known. Alam niyo po ba that there are more than 64,000 dialysis patients here in California alone? But their respective operating margins were 14.7% and 12.9%. By comparison, most major hospitals claim have much smaller profit margins. They can afford to invest more in patient care, but why don't they? And nine other states have dialysis ratios. Studies consistently show that better staffing means better patient outcomes, fewer hospitalizations, and lower rates of infections. That's why kasama natin ang ating mga kababayan to educate us about this issue. Kasama natin si Fitz Tumarao. He is a registered nurse who has been in the dialysis service for 13 years. And uh, he belongs to a category of nurses which specialize and train in the use of dialysis nurses and techniques. Joining him is Enrico Rico uh, Maniago. He is a patient care technician, PCT po ang tawag dyan, and has been working as a dialysis technician for 11 years. PCTs or techs are responsible for the technical management of hemodialysis treatment to patients with advanced kidney disease. And they supervise, they are supervised by registered nurses or RNs and operate dialysis machines as well as provide basic patient care. Now, uh, they are joining us on Kababayan today. Maraming salamat mga kababayan. Thank, Thank you. you. Thank All right. So pag-usapan natin ito para sa mga taong hindi nakakaintindi ng ano ba talaga ang dialysis. We always hear that, oh, you know, uh, we know of someone who has to go into the clinic uh, at matagal silang nakaupo doon dahil nililinis yung dugo nila. But ano ba talaga ang dialysis para sa mga kababayan na hindi alam kung ano ito? Fits. Yeah, um, just to make it simple, dialysis is a process of removal, removing uh, waste products and um, excess fluid from the body. Now, normally when our kidneys work, I mean, our kidneys are pretty much the filter of our bodies. Mm -hmm. Now, in time, when probably for some cause or for some reason the kidneys fail, then dialysis comes in, where we do the same process as what the kidney does, but using artificial means, in this case, a dialysis machine. A dialysis machine. Yes. Okay, I know there are two kidneys, but we only need one to function, correct? Mm -hmm. But I also understand that in order to be part of a register uh, registry to get uh, a kidney, it's a very long and difficult process. Rico, can you uh, can you walk us through the process of when a patient comes in to get dialysis? Ano yung proseso niya? Well, um, siyempre, uh, merong doctor's um, prescription yan. Um, manggagaling sa lobby, uh, welcome namin sila. Tapos, uh, making sure na okay, they have the right weight or how much uh, water they gain because they don't have, fill, uh, they don't have um, functioning kidney. So, uh, we bring them to the chair, uh, we take their blood pressure, um, and uh, basically just uh, run through, make sure they're okay. And uh, we stick these two big needles in their arm. No, tinutusok namin sila. Tapos may hose chan, lalabas yung dugo. The blood will come out, mm -hmm. uh, and it's gonna run through this machine. And then there's a filter, and it's gonna go back to their system. And the process takes about three or four hours, and it depends again on the doctor's prescription. And our job as um, a technician or the RN also, uh, we monitor them every 30 minutes, making sure. Um, their uh, blood pressure is okay and their sugar is okay. Uh, so wait, tatlong oras sila nakaupo doon? Oo, oh, 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 tatlong oras. Parang pumuntang San Diego, ano, nakaupo lang pabalik. <laughs> wow, that, that is a long time to sit and, and, and you know, just sit there yeah. to get your blood cleaned. Now I understand that there are lots of issues pertaining to the dialysis industry at dahil marami tayong mga kababayan na registered nurses and work in the medical field apektado ang mga kababayan sa industriyang to. Uh, we're going to talk about those issues when we return on the program, but there's so many issues surrounding the business of dialysis that you need to know about because we need to take action as a community. So we'll return with those issues so that you can be informed about how we can all have safer dialysis for our kababayans. We'll be right back.